Hello, my Capricorns. How are you? My name is Misty the Mystic. My angels and guys have helped me to create Sugarfoot Tarot. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I do have Dharma, my sidekick, kicking it over here. Uh, so yes, this is your love read for March 2019. Check your sun, moon, and rising and your Venus sign because this is a love read. And I want to thank you for visiting. Thank you for your donations and for the personal readings. Thank you. All my information is below if I haven't read from you before. And um, please visit as many tarot readers, astrology, numerology, as you can. Um, learn about crystals. Get more into meditation and yoga. The more you understand yourself and others, the better the world will be. And um, before I give you uh, all the cards that we're going to be using today, just a quick rundown. March 5th is Mardi Gras, Tuesday, Fat Tuesday. Wednesday is the New Moon, Ash Wednesday. Uh, this, uh, March 10th is, um, we change our clocks. We spring forward, daylight savings time. And of course, they didn't see its shadow, so we get early spring. Yay! Uh, the 17th of March is St. Patty's Day. The 20th is the first day of spring and a full moon, and the 21st goes into Aries. So, at the end of the spread, um, um, we have chosen uh, two um, in, uh, animal cards, spirit animals, for you to meditate on. Uh, this is one of them. I've had this for forever, probably the 80s I've had this. Mm -hmm. And this is the second one we have chosen. Okay. And we're also going to use the Love Tarot. I've had this box since the 80s. You could tell by the box. I don't even know if you can update anymore. Uh, angel cards. Heart and Soul. Power of Love. The Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Art of the Love Tarot. Heart and Soul, and the Journey of Love, okay? So first, we'll do singles, couples, and then we'll do ourselves, and then the animals, okay? So for my single Capricorns, March 2019, oh, I forgot to tell you also, we're using the Romance Tarot card and the Sexual Magic. Uh, the Magician, so alchemy, you're making things happen, laying things on the on the table, trying to figure out how things are going to work, chemistry, how am I going to make things work, I'm single, I like somebody, they like me, you're either going to go after somebody or they're going to go after you, Same, yeah, someone's going to offer you or you're going to offer somebody um, love for March, fantastic, I don't believe you're going to be single by the end of March, um, it's somebody that you're going to meet out and about and they're going to be kind Cut and dry. Fantastic. Awesome, awesome. So my couples. Th this is for boy, girl, girl, boy, boy, boy. All love. This is all love. Tempress. So, you know, there's something's happened. There's been a rip in the, the angel wing. There's some communication back and forth that needs to happen or has been happening um, between my couples. Oh, two must have fell out. Um, and it looks like you guys are running here and there, trying to make things work. It's probably a very busy life in March. It's spring. Everyone's getting ready, going to Home Depot, uh, going to Lowell's, getting ready for their, their gardens and, and painting their houses and spring cleaning inside. Busy, busy. Um, and two came out here. So, yeah, um, the Hairfant, happily, doesn't have to mean marriage, happily together in a committed relationship. Um... Uh, but there is some resistance there. Uh, there is some, um, this kind of, in my opinion, matches with this. There is some resistance. There's some um, tug and, you know, tug of war. Um, maybe two people are trying to wear the pants in the family. Two people are trying to wear the skirt in the family. Um, there should be give and take. There might be some struggles, winning at all costs. Um, yeah, so you're happily together. You, you're committed. You're running around, but um, take that moment and talk to one another. Listen. One of you listen and one of you talk and vice versa. And get this tension gone in March. There's a lot to do. Capricorns are list makers. They, li they like living their rules. They like being alpha male, uh, alpha female. You are a cardinal sign. Um, so 
you need to also soften. There's male and female on each side and each person, and there should be a balance between that. Um, so if there's any kickback, temperance that. Okay? Fantastic. Now let's get to this. First card for my Capricorns from March 2019. The Light Field. And it's a number nine. So you are highly psychic. You are calling in your angels. You do want to speak to people that has crossed over. You do believe in spirituality. You do believe in God. You believe in a maker of, of whatever your maker is. And um, light, shine light on you. You know that song in Sunday school, hide your light under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Um, also daydreaming, projecting what you want. Springtime, what do I want? this next year to be meditating trying to make things happen there's a bridge here there's water there's earth there's air there's no fire so it's being calm being still talking to your ancestors part talking to your guides talking to your angels talking to people have crossed over they are giving you answers so you are light you are a beacon of light at the edge of the ocean okay Ooh, this is beautiful. Star. You are a star. That glare. Sorry about that. That's, I see lips, a nose. I never saw that before. A star, so your third eye, being a unicorn. Using your, your third eye back to that light, back to speaking to people that have crossed over. And, and spirituality, being a mystic. Um, using that sixth sense, using your chakras, meditating. I, I just now see the two eyes. Two eyes. Projecting light. I don't see that as tears. I've not read the other side, but it looks like you're projecting light on the subject. It is a face. Huh. Okay, so you are the ocean of light. Unfolding through the infinity space of life. Through the space between each thought, you can see your true immortal nature. What the oneness of spirit that dreamt itself into the many of part of you. Like the whirlwind from the heaven, it appears and disappears in endless forms. That's beautiful. You are ocean of light. You are a beacon of light. You are light. And let people see that light. Sometimes you like to act grumped and grumpy, but we see your heart. We see inside of you. We know your grumpiness is just grumpy. You are soft and squishy too. Two came out here. Oh, male and female. Back to male and female in each person. Or this could be individuals. You've got the, the queen of hearts. The sixth sense, which is in the regular tarot deck, is the queen of, um, you know, the queen of hearts, the queen of cups. So could be dealing with a water sign or you just have a lot of emotions. Pink will be your color for this month. It looks like I see a pink flame. The light of trees, a custodian. So again, being still. Projecting on that light, being that beacon of light and the color pink and the trees. You know, people make fun of trees, tree huggers. Everything has energy. Go outside. It's beautiful weather. Go fishing. Go um, collect leaves, hug trees, love birds. Get with nature. You are. You are our earth sign and you're a cardinal sign and you are love. You're unconditional love. You like to hide it by having your rules and being grumpy, but you have a, such a big heart. You are so kind, my male and female Capricorns. So definitely take on this, bring in, you know, show your love, be unconditional that you are. Be still, meditate, focus on that pink light, the unconditional light, and get out in nature. Next, the solar chakra, which is your tummy chakra, which is third chakra. Um, Angel Sarah handles that. Um, that's empowerment. So if you're feeling like you're not in power, that you're out of control, Capricorns have to be in control at all times. Just call into Angel Sarah, and Sarah will help you. And just concentrate on your tummy chakra. Bring in that yellow light when you're thinking of it and you're meditating, and you will feel empowered. Three cards left before we get to your animals. Compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. That's you. You're one big heart. Even though you like to hide it, you're all heart. You would give the shirt off your back to anybody. That is the truth. Contentment. 
Well, you know, there's a lot of people that love being content. They're peaceful. Some people don't like being content. It's frightening. They want to be always conquering something. They're scared that once they're content, they're ready to die. But it looks like you're content. We are, we can feel true contentment when we come to the realization that although the school life of earth is difficult, we will eventually gr gratitude and go to the other side, which is home. The great peace is inherited in its knowledge. More water, water, water. You need water. You need earth. You need the color pink and the color yellow and you shine your light of contentment. So just enjoy. Go outside this March. Get in the, get by a pond, get by the ocean, get by trees, birds, and cover yourself in, in, in pink light and love and white light and your tummy chakra yellow and be content. Let the sun shine on your face and the beautiful breeze run through your hair and you know, run like a horse like you can. Run as fast as you can and be free and have the empowerment. Final card from the angels. Blue angel. Now the color blue. I, Archangel Michael, am I here by your side? I am all around you and will forever protect you. Remember that whenever you're feeling fearful, I love you all as well. Call into Arch Archangel Michael. Call into Sarah, Angel Sarah. They will help you. Fantastic. So you have a lot to do this month. So, spirit animals. Sow, abundance. You might be a mommy or a daddy, or you might be a, a, a boss, a, a bunch of people being a leader. Um, you may own your own business. Um, church clubs, work at home, but abundance. You love your family, unconditional love, for providing for your friends and family and your workmates and your just abundance of just, look at all those cute piglets. You're, you're very happy and you're very content. Ooh, I got two butterflies. Okay, the grass isn't greener on the other side. You're wishing your life away. Go back to contentment. Go back to being content that the grass isn't greener. You know, green is your heart chakra. It looks like you're going into almost all the colors of the chakra that you need to meditate on. Um, but wings... You know, you're spreading your wings. It's it's March. It's beautiful. The butterfly is supported by all their friends and family in the cocoon. You've broke away from it. You've reached out. You're flying flower to flower, pollinating everything. You're content. You're happy. You've meditated. Fantastic. So these are what you need to work on. Love, abundance. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorns. It's been an absolute pleasure. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.